20th of May 2024. So it is unlimited breakfast. I was told by Sam, give a mention to Sam and a thumbs up for the fantastic stays that we have done. Despite hearing the sad news that it is closing down, this one and many others, as we repeat, in February 2025, we have missed it. Um, or we're going to miss it in the future. We have missed our time coming here and we loved it to have death here um, each time that we have visited here. So a big thumbs up to Sam and Groover, named Mark. So yeah, hopefully they all keep in touch with us and uh, leave us a comment on our channel. I really hope that is gonna be the case. So unlimited breakfast we were told by Sam um, at the till. Because, of course, firstly, she did say about the price of inflation, it's gone up an extra pound here. And you'll see this by the receipt in just a moment. And you already saw the great stuff that you could, of course, um, have a choice of if you have a breakfast here. I'm going to have a small amount of breakfast um, to eat very slowly so that I don't get in, indigested later on. But uh, yeah, we're gonna make most of it. Unfortunately, under the former name of Starlight, which is now Cody Wordy, is in the room of 152, thanks to all the great staff at this hotel of the Premier Inn Nelson Hotel, which is literally Simon Walker to the train station over in this direction. The breakfast, which is the unlimited breakfast, including the continental breakfast, finishes Monday to Friday at 10.30 p.m. Just got to remember because it's waking up early in the morning. But yeah, interesting. The only thing is that we had, of course, the only channel in our TV of GB News, which was 236, one of my all-time favourite uh, news channel. But, of course, yeah, not everybody's taste. It's been a great experience. So let's have a look at the choices that I have chosen for the unlimited breakfast. So, of course, it's going to be, because they are closing and they need the money and all that kind of thing, inflation, that's probably why it's gone up a little bit. So it's not 9 99 anymore, it's 10 99 Okay, just to bear that in mind for the future reference. This is 
sofa on this side. I've moved the table around the computer and what's around here. Got croissants here, toast, marmalades, all these kind of things here. Got to make the most of it before Premier in here at this particular place and many other places that are closing down in terms of Premier Inn by February 2025. So this will make some history here. We've got some butter here, choice of butter. Remember all that. And you've got Lakeland butter as well. Both butters I might choose to get. Brown and white bread, croissants, crumpets, or just American toast. So you do get a good choice. I've got, or oh, I've actually gone for two sausages there. And I've also gone for two tomatoes and a little bit of a scrambled egg you can see there. Mushrooms, two eggs and hash browns. Are they the same as Weatherspoons? We'll find out. I think they've got a slightly different taste, but yeah. And I've got myself toast with Lakeland butter there. And the other thing I've mentioned, um, well, the other thing I want to mention is, um, yeah, Sam recognised Alvin, and that's the chosen name that we have chosen for this, you know, wonderful character, which, of course, comes with us on our tour with us. How amazing. What's the matter? So this cup has been sort of offered to us because you sort of donate to charity. Charity boxes at the till. Some sort of cancer research charity. I don't know what, quite what it is, but it's definitely a charity going to a, hopefully a genuine charity. Um, you know, I don't often spend a lot of money going to charities, but of course, I presume this one is genuine. So we've got a gift to take home. So that's pretty cool. So there we are. So unlimited breakfast has now finished and I've just about got a full stomach here after all that. I did have second helpings, but of course, this time, it's a lot better than it was last time. I was too full last time, and really, I just couldn't eat anymore. But, um, yeah, it's all you can eat kind of thing. Basically, unlimited breakfast here at the Nelson Hotel Premier Inn in Norwich, which is literally a five-minute walk from the train station and Norwich City Football Club and the Queen of Ice and Eat Weatherspoons and the Pizza Place and Hollywood Bowl of Norwich which I actually remember and in between all that it's got a lovely beautiful river which is literally just over in that direction right now over there look how beautiful it looks here in May I know of course I'm the only one here in this restaurant I've got some takeaway stuff of course from the restaurant here because I thought I'd treat myself if I wanted some croissants and things like that, and I think Alvin's pleased as well. I've finished my breakfast in complete style, so what am I going to give it out of 10? Wow, it's going to be a difficult choice, isn't it, Alvin? So what would you rate it? I would rate it a 10. Okay, is that a little bit too much? No, not really. I love it. I loved it. You gave me some milk. You gave me the extra uh, beaker, which is hiding behind me there. You can see. Well, of course, what I would say is that, um, yeah, you deserve that. It's because I had to put money in the charity box, which hopefully I'll show a video of before we leave the restaurant. So, of course, album with a, a edit, I can hear some music, or quiet music playing in the background. 
There is a bar just around the corner. I don't know if you can see that. Just there. How beautiful is that? Look at how decorative that is. It's going to be really dearly missed when this sort of changes into something else. So we've got to make the most of this until about 2025. And we only just come up with the gimmick of Alvin, which was born in Great Yarmouth, aren't they? So there you go. That's his rate. What's mine? Perhaps he's going to be the cameraman next time. Yeah, I was very, very impressed with the eggs. I like the eggs today, and I liked them before, but of course, sometimes you can have too many of them. I've actually got a little bit of milk. I might have just one more cup before I go back to the room 152, which is what I'm about to do very shortly, because I've just got to get ready to pack to go back to Cambridge from Norwich train station and hopefully they'll accept the ticket that I've got um, yeah I've just seen a bus in the background I don't know if you saw that but maybe you didn't but yeah uh, drink milk to that for a change <laughs> yeah amazing so yeah the bacon was good has browns was good uh, also the scrambled egg was quite nice even though the beans were a bit cold they were still edible okay it was a flavor that you could still enjoy in my opinion so I'm gonna rate because of the cold beans <laughs> unfortunately there's a bit of a reminder there I'm gonna rate this score out of 10 and I've already just said it to Alvin, nine. It drops down to nine because of the baked beans. He didn't actually eat the baked beans. <laughs> Alvin didn't. Of course, he left them all to me. But anyway, uh, yes, we'll leave that racing through Alvin's mind right now. I'm going to drink another cup of milk instead of a coffee or a tea. It makes a nice change. There is continental breakfast just around the corner as well nine out of ten do you think i'm in a bit sort of on the hard side let us know in the comments if you think i am i just want to know about it or we want to know about it as part of the story with us okay as usual we always appreciate if you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel of touring with us nine out of ten for me would you rate it near enough the same or a little bit lower or higher let's know your thoughts well you didn't see it on camera but i did spill half the milk here i did overflow it by mistake there but uh never mind all that we didn't actually get the sound of of course alvin last night so we have to do some audio commentary we got the video footage but not the sound Somehow the sound didn't come out. <laughs> oh, well, one of those things. Sorry about that, Alvin.